Welcome to the magical world of solar. In this session, we're going to talk about the AC disconnect, how to wire it, and how it integrates into a full solar system. My name is Jay Warmke. I'm with Blue Rock Station. I know who I'm with. And uh, this is the AC disconnect. Now, this is a small 30 amp AC disconnect. The disconnect will be need to be sized appropriately for the system. The NEC code also requires that it be located within 15 feet of uh, the service entrance, and usually that's going to be the electrical meter. Uh, it also needs to be externally operable so that you don't have to get inside the unit to turn it on and off, and it needs to be well marked. We'll talk about labeling in another session. It also now needs to be lockable. So in this case, you can put a little padlock or some sort of security device, keep people from getting into it. This is a fused system. So we have some fuses that go into this. In this case, this is a 30 amp fuse. And these fuses will locate right inside the system. We'll install those later. Let's look at all the component pieces of the AC disconnect. We have fuses. Now these boxes come fused or unfused. Fuses do give you a little bit more protection in your system. Then we have the line side connection, the two hots, which would be your red and your black cable, typically in a 240 system. That connects to the electrical service panel. The load side hots, you carry that color coding on, come in from the inverter. So remember, there is power on both sides. We have a neutral connection. Uh, it's just a simple bus bar where your neutral wires are connected together. And then we have an equipment grounding bus bar. This bonds your system together uh, throughout. Uh, this would be the green wires, and this also bonds the metal box. The disconnect switch uh, must be external to the box, externally operable, so you can open your circuit without actually opening up the box. Now I want to take just a moment to talk about the difference between the line side and the load side. Now the line side hots, the red and the black conductors, are going to be coming in from the service panel. And that's important to understand because that is the point where there is always going to be a power connection. Even when your system is turned off, there will be power coming in from the service panel. The load side connection is connected down at the bottom. These are often marked on your disconnects, but if they're not marked, just assume the inverter will always be the load. That's important because as you disconnect, these little tabs that disconnect will then mean that only that top bus bar is going to be energized when the circuit is open. The rest of the box will have no power present at all when the box is in the open position. Now, before you start working with these wires, make sure that they're not energized. So you'll take your multimeter, test here to make sure there's no voltage, test here to make sure there's no voltage. You can test between them to make sure there's no voltage. So be sure there is no voltage. Now we're going to go ahead and install this system. Before you begin your installation, make sure that the power is turned off, in this case, both at the inverter and the service panel. Then test all of your wires to make sure they are not energized. Connect your ground wire first, because then if there is stray power, it has a pathway to ground. You're going to make your line side connections, connecting in the hots on the switch at the, uh, the neutral, at the neutral bus bar. And of course, your grounds will have already been connected. After all of your connections are made, go ahead and insert the fuses uh, and you should be ready to go. So here we have a completed AC disconnect system. This particular unit is hooked up to microinverters, so we have AC power coming from the microinverters. So the line side is connected up to the service panel. The load side is connected up to the inverters, or in this case, microinverters. And everything is trimmed out in liquid tight conduit since this is an outside installation. So we need to make sure everything is watertight. You can find more information on living sustainably in our unsustainable world at BlueRockStation.com.